Have you ever wanted to be able to make millions, and I literally mean millions, while chilling? Like you just put up a movie, sit back, relax, and get the money for premium in a couple of hours? Bro, from now on you shall call me Mog the Genie, because I'm about to grant you some wishes. Alright, I, I played enough with your curiosity, it's time for me to finally tell you what I'm talking about. Slayer Corrupted Dungeons. And I know what you might be thinking. But the Mag... Do you think everybody's able or wants to PvP? Well, no, but who said anything about PvP? No, brother, don't you worry about it. What you wanna be doing is called ratting. And it works like this. Basically, when you first enter a corrupted dungeon, you will see a shrine. Usually, whenever you're watching any of my PvP videos, what you're seeing is the result of me clicking on the shrine and activating it. What I want you to do right now is imagine that that shrine is a hippo with diarrhea. Now let me ask you this, do you know what a hippo with diarrhea needs? That's right, lots of space. Get as far away from that shrine as humanly possible and make sure you do not click it because oh boy oh boy let me tell you it smells bad if you do. From that point onward you just want to go and do the dungeon as you normally would. Kill some bosses, make sure you also kill some mobs because the bosses do not give you sufficient points to complete the whole dungeon and yeah just chill out when it comes to the build that you want to be using <laughs> bro look at me i'm using dead givers do, are you really looking at me for ratting build advice y you know what mighty chicken please cut this part off Basically, you want a build that can do three things. Clear reasonably fast, be reasonably cheap, and be decent at PvP. Why are you all acting surprised? It's not like you're plowing flowers through the fields. You're in a hellhole trying to escape an assassin that literally allied with the demon that owns the hellhole. And you're acting surprised because I just said that you need a PvP build? Yeah, you need a PvP build. Br bring three of them if possible. Let's say, for example, that you're looking for a PvP build that can absolutely destroy anybody, but that can also clear reasonably fast. In which case, this build might be exactly what you're looking for. Mage Cow, Spectre Hood, Soldier Boots, Blood Letter, Muisak, Tedford Cape, and the usual stuff. Those are the abilities you want to be using when it comes to PvE. But when it comes to PvP, you just have to make two changes. This and this. That's it. The build stays the same. I mean, if you're feeling risky, you can even bring this spell, but I wouldn't recommend it. Let's say maybe you are looking forward to playing more of a Kyra build. Maybe you want to learn to kite, but you don't yet have the courage to do so. So you just want to practice your way into kiting by doing the PvE side of Corrupted Dungeons. If I didn't make it clear enough, I'm talking about myself. Bro, I really want to learn how to kite. In that case, this might be the build you're looking for. Mage Cow, Mercenary Jacket, any kind of leather shoes, you just need them for the refreshing sprint ability, bow of badon, and the, yeah, the usual stuff. With this build, if you run into a PvP situation in which you actually want to fight, the only thing you have to change would be this, and I would say, depending on the opponent, on what the opponent is using, you might want to be using deadly shot. Like, let me let me make it simple. If you're playing against a guy that requires melee range in order to hit you, you want to stick with this Q. If you're playing against another Kyra or another ranged player, you want to switch to this Q. That's it. <laughs> That's actually it. This is one of the fastest PvE builds out there, to be honest. Now, if you don't want to do any of this and you just want to chill while making loads of silver... <laughs> No why are chill, you booing no me? Chill, Am I the chilling, man, why why are you making me feel crazy? Am I the only one who wants to chill whenever I'm doing PvE? Well, for real now, in case I'm not the only one who wants to chill when doing PvE, this would be the build to go. Druidic Staff, Mercenary Jacket, Guardian Boots, Mage Cow, and Torch for an Offhand. Why did I start with the weapon though? The only changes you want to be doing when it comes to... PvE actually, because the build I'm showing you right now is the PvP variant, is just change this to this. Now, a thing I didn't mention up until this moment, because you will soon see that it pretty much applies to every build, because every build uses a cloth helmet, in case you don't want to fight the guy and you just want to rat your way out, what you want to be doing is switch whatever boots you're using, maybe except if you're using soldier, but it depends switch them to the first run ability. The second thing you want to be doing 
switch your helmet, this applies only to cloth helmets, switch them to the second ability. And the third thing you want to be doing, whatever dash-like abilities you have on your weapon, any, any kind of ability that can help you get away, so like for this would be, yeah, actually this would be pretty good, for that givers would mean this, and for both but don't, Shut up, man. You have all the getaways in the world. What, what, what do you need more? Like, like, come on. And you can easily rat your way out. If you have cabbage soups, you already have a big advantage because you can just run through mobs without worrying about it too much. For me, there's mainly two reasons why I brought Dead Keepers. One, it's the only weapon that I've truly mastered in PvP. <laughs> So I know for a fact that in case I get invaded, I can defend myself. And two, because I have high specs in everything the build requires, so for me, reaching 1200 IP is very easy and very cheap. Oh, and as an extra reason, I wanted to show you that you can literally bring whatever, as long as it can clear reasonably fast. Now, the actual real reason, I just wanted to play that givers. Now, I really wanted to see how good this is, so I did, instead of the usual 5 dungeons, I did 10. You better be subscribed now. Everything took me about 2 hours with an average of 10 to 13 minutes per dungeon, I think. I didn't really time the whole thing, but that's what my right dread is telling me, and so I trust my right dread. So should you. During this whole thing, I've only been invaded once, and weirdly enough, it was the guy who broke the last crystal. Well, 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 seems like somebody's tired of Slayer Rats. Too bad there's more on the way, right? right? Oh, 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 let me show you some of the chests. Check this out. After doing this for about 2 hours, this is the bank tab that I managed to fill. As you can see, it has about 2.8 million inside of it, including the silver bags. This is incredible, I gotta say, that's more than 1 mil per hour while not doing much. For real, you're not doing much, I've only been invaded once during this whole thing. It was the invader who broke the final crystal and I didn't die at all inside Corrupted Dungeons. I'm saying inside Corrupted Dungeons because I've been ganked outside of them. That one was on me, so I'm not taking this into consideration. For real now, I strongly suggest you get into this type of content, it's absolute. Do not listen to that filthy casual, watch this video instead. It's a much better way of doing silver while also teaching yourself to stop being a casual by learning PvP. So watch this instead, it's much better. Don't be a casual like this guy. Filthy casuals, Pooh. How dare they play this game casually.